Well, hey there, Rick, and absolutely, we did see rain earlier today, but it was pretty amazing because a lot of us saw plenty of sunshine and didn't feel like anything was actually happening to our east, but we did see plenty of thunderstorms in the mountains for the most part. That was just a shot of Santa Monica. We're looking at very pleasant conditions out there, mild and mostly clear. You're going to see a little bit of residual moisture left over over the high desert, over the mountains. Not a lot of this rain making its way down to the ground. Mostly it was that monsoonal moisture that made its way into our forecast earlier today, and it could potentially make a return by tomorrow afternoon. All of the advisories, warnings, and watches are up in our area. These are just watches that are well to our east. You'll see right there closer to San Diego, we're under a flood advisory and a flash flood watch to our east over the desert. Other than that, again, for our forecast area, we're done with the watches and the warnings and things are starting to wind down. Temperatures are starting to come down a little bit as well. We're in the 60s. We're looking at 70s as well. You'll see 76 and Downey over to Riverside, 80 degrees. Palmdale currently flirting with the 80s and Malibu at a very mild and comfortable 69 degrees. We're going to have your forecast for the rest of the week. I will tell you there's a warm up in store. More on that coming up in just a bit. Back to you. Strange day weather wise. Yeah. Uh, also, we had that <sighs> weird smell that some people. Yes. Were, you said, you ladies said you didn't smell anything. We didn't anything. experience I, it. I did didn't out of smell my house, anything. Which is kind of, I'm not upset smell about like, it, though. You smell smelled like skunks. That's what I first thought in the backyard. I was backyard, wondering if you I went didn't to the have gym, a gym. It still smelled like skunks. I wonder if there's a skunk. Maybe it was you. Maybe it's the shirt. But I'm glad there's a skunk. Yes, there we go. We're glad. Woo! No, just kidding. Yeah, uh, yeah it, we would have uh, sent him home. There we go. We, we would let yeah. you be here next to us tonight. Sorry. I mean, you know, you're great and all, but mm, just kidding. All right. So let's get to the forecast. We've got lots to talk about, as Rick mentioned. Some now it has since expired. Still a little bit of moisture out there, but no thunderstorms. Just a little bit of rain. Just a few drops over Big Bear right there, and just a few spots over the high desert. But for the most part, we are much drier, and it's much calmer compared to where we were earlier this afternoon. You're going to see there are a few watches and advisories out there, but they're out of our forecast area. This flood advisory is for San Diego County and this flash flood watch is out in the desert in the Mojave right there. You're going to see again a little bit of residual moisture and there's still a chance that we could get a little bit of monsoonal moisture creeping into our forecast tomorrow. So with that we could see an isolated thunderstorm and possibly a few showers as well. That's not out of the question. Temperatures right now to the 60s and 70s. 78 in Palmdale, 76 in Downey, 69 in PV tonight, 75 in Laguna. And as we head over to Riverside, we're currently at 79 degrees and as we mentioned earlier there is a chance of a thunderstorm tomorrow but other than that high pressure is moving into the forecast and we're going to see plenty of sunshine and above average temperatures and by above average let me show you exactly how warm we're going to get in your neighborhood we'll take you to the valleys in the inland empire where we're expecting 90s eventually turning to the triple digits by your thursday it will be a little drier this time so it'll be hotter but we won't get as much humidity by friday still looking at warmer temperatures triple digits and by your saturday still hot out there for the basin in orange county mid 80s but by thursday we're above average and friday as well we're turning up into the 90s and then just a degree cooler by Saturday, but still above average. We're going to take you to the coast. That's coming up in a little bit, so don't go away. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Really? Another hair, day hair of issues? this. I know. Some hair I, issues, I take it. A lot of hair issues. Hair issues, Ladies, yes. You know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Right? Sharon and I were just complaining about the frizzy. We need the extra hairspray. No. Well, it's Us not that they do. don't. They just don't care. They just don't care. That's true. That's right. True. That's when true. you have shorter hair, it's a lot easier. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look outside right now, guys. Not all the moisture you see right here on radar is making its way down to the ground, but we are seeing a little bit of it. You're going to see a few sprinkles over the mountains and the high desert, but nothing heavy and no severe thunderstorms at the moment. That was the case earlier today, and that could continue to be the case as we head into tomorrow afternoon. As we get a look at flash flood warnings, advisories, watches. We did have a severe thunderstorm warning earlier today. We're not seeing much in our forecast area. We are seeing a flood advisory to our south over San Diego County, and we are looking at a flash flood watch to our east over the desert right there. But other than that, we are done with the watches and warnings. Originally, we did have a flash flood watch for the San Bernardino County Mountains, but that has since expired. It was supposed to stay in effect through midnight. No longer the case. A lot calmer out there. You're going to see temperatures out there in the 60s and the 70s. 73 in Valencia over to Palmdale 77. As we head over to Downey, we're at 76 in Malibu at 69 degrees. So quite mild out there this evening. Temperatures are going to continue to actually warm up. It will be a little cooler over the next couple of days. There's still a chance of a thunderstorm and then high pressure starts to build into Southern California. And as a result, we'll see plenty of sunshine and yes, we will see above average temperatures. We'll show you exactly how warm we're going to get. That's all coming up in just a little bit. Rick, back to you. I'll take it from here. Let's talk about the forecast. Okay. <laughs> Let's change that back. Let's
let's go for it. I'd be happy to talk about the weather. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to take you outside to the Santa Monica Pier. And as we do, you'll see a few people out and about. Very mild at the coast. Not a lot of cloud cover out there. But there's still a chance of a thunderstorm as we head to tomorrow. We saw plenty of thunderstorms today up in the mountains. And, well, things have since calmed down. High pressure eventually building to the forecast with that plenty of sunshine and above average temperature slated for the later part of the week. For now, we got up to 89 degrees. That was for downtown today. It was warm, it was hot, and it was humid as well as that monsoonal moisture made its way into the forecast. Average is 84, so we were a few degrees above average. Over the next 24 hours, 70s, mid 70s by the morning hours, so it's already gonna be nice and toasty, and by the afternoon, upper 80. So we're still above average as we head into tomorrow. You'll see Santa Monica 78 for you tomorrow. Palmdale 90 Woodland Hills getting up to about 93 degrees. So still a warm forecast for you, but cooler than where we're going to be later in the week. So enjoy the cooler temperatures. They're not cool, but enjoy the cooler temperatures while they last. As we get a look at your forecast, you're going to see plenty of monsoonal moisture sitting to our east, sitting to our south as well. That's eventually going to work its way into Southern California. And as it does, there is potential for maybe a few more isolated thunderstorms and showers as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So we're keeping that chance in the forecast. We're also keeping the forecast quite warm as we head into not just the next couple of days, but the later part of the week. High pressure is going to expand west, and as it does, temperatures are going to start to be on the up and up. Take a look right here for the basin in Orange County, mid 80s, turning to about 90 by your Thursday, above average by your Friday, little cooler, but not much cooler by your Saturday. For the coast, we're taking you to the 70s, and once we hit Thursday, Friday, and your weekend, we're up into the 80s. So we're essentially just calling it beach weather pretty much all week long. Not a lot of cloud cover to contend with, but remember, there is that chance of maybe an isolated thunderstorm and possibly a shower in the mountains and in the deserts as well. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Yeah, we saw a lot of thunderstorm activity out there earlier tonight, but things are finally starting to wind down quite nicely. Actually, as we take a look outside from our Mount Wilson camera, we are overlooking downtown, overlooking the basin. Temperatures currently in the 70s and earlier today. Well, they were in the upper 80s. Radar right here showing you mostly clear conditions. We're done with the rain and the thunderstorms at this point, but as we head into tomorrow, we're still expecting that chance. You'll see right here there is a flash flood watch, but it's well to our east over the Mojave Desert right there, expiring first thing in the morning. So we're done with the watches and the warnings, at least for now. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s out there for us this evening. 75 in Downey, over to Valencia, 74, Palmdale, 77, and Riverside at 79. There's still a chance of a thunderstorm as monsoonal moisture continues to make its way to Southern California. Plenty of sunshine, though, and above average temperatures as we head into, head into the later part of the week. So we'll tell you exactly how warm we're going to get. I will tell you it should be a pretty warm forecast out there, especially as we head toward the second part of the week and our weekend. We'll have all those numbers coming up for you in just a little bit. Back to you. All right, we have been looking at it all day and it's finally starting to calm down a little bit out there. I'm going to step off and get you a uh, look up and sunny by the afternoon with the exception of maybe a few thunderstorms out there. At this point, there is still a little bit of moisture sitting over the high desert, but other than that, really nothing to speak of at this point. As we head into tomorrow, we could see more of that monsoonal moisture make its way into the forecast. There's still a flash flood watch in effect to our east over the Mojave Desert. Other than that, most of the watches, warnings, advisories already expired. Temperatures right now to the 60s, the 70s as well, 74 in Valencia, 75 in Downey, Laguna Beach at 72 degrees. Earlier today, we made it to 89. That was for downtown. Average is 84. Record numbers 103. So we're not getting anywhere too close to that, at least not for the basin. Over the next 24 hours, we're expecting 70s, mid 70s. And by the afternoon, the basin getting into the mid 80s predominantly. You'll see 85 for downtown tomorrow. Santa Monica, 78 as we head over to Palmdale. We're getting up to 90 tomorrow with maybe a thunderstorm in store for you. And Woodland Hills, we're getting up to about 93 degrees as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So temperature is actually cooler compared to where we're going to be a little later in the week. That's because high pressure is going to start to build over Southern California. And as it does, temperatures are going to continue to get much warmer as we head into the later part of the week. You'll see right here still warm now, but we again 
are expecting even warmer temperatures on the way. You'll see some of that monsoonal moisture sitting to our east that could potentially move into our forecast as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So the chance of thunderstorms and isolated showers still in the forecast, but probably for the higher elevations. We don't want to discount the chance for anybody. Of course, everybody always in for a chance, but best chance in the higher elevations and for the valleys in the Inland Empire. 90s turning to triple digits by the time we hit Thursday in your weekend. Lena and Sylvia, back to you. All right. And the chance of thunderstorms continue. We'll let you know how long the chance is going to last coming up. Imagine a door. Landing. Yeah. No. Anywhere. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh -uh. Things that come out of the sky. Yes. Right. right. Especially in the end. Lynette Empire. <laughs> there we today. go. I love it. Yeah. Rain, thunderstorms. Yeah. We did see some severe weather earlier today. That monsoonal moisture is still making still an around. appearance. Yep. Okay. We keep thinking it's going to go away, right. but it keeps creeping in <laughs> from the southwest. So uh, we would like it to go away. A lot of us have been getting a lot of complaints saying it's too humid. My hair is too frizzy. <laughs> I mean, A to Z. So hopefully things will calm down soon. We actually are looking at a little bit of a cool down in terms of temperatures, and we are looking at humidity levels also coming down over the next couple of days. We're going to see radar staying free, free and clear rather of a lot of that rain that we saw earlier in the thunderstorms. There's actually a flash flood watch. It's still sitting to our east, so we're really not looking at any watches, warnings or advisories in our immediate forecast area. This is for the desert and the Morongo Basin as well. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s this evening, 74 in Downey, 73 Valencia, 69 in PV as we head over to Laguna Beach, 72 degrees for you. So there is still a chance of a thunderstorm by tomorrow afternoon. Other than that, high pressure starting to work its way into Southern California as it does. We're going to continue to see plenty of sunshine and we should continue to see above average temperatures as well. Earlier today, we were above average. We made it to 89. Average is 84. And by tomorrow, we're going to be right, barely, but right above average for the basin. You're going to see downtown getting up to 85 degrees. Santa Monica, 78. Anaheim, 85. Riverside, 89. And Woodland Hills getting up to the low 90s tomorrow. In the overnight hours, looks like we could see a bit of high cloud cover seep into the forecast. By 10 o'clock, really not an issue. We're looking at clear skies and pretty calm conditions, but by the afternoon, that's when we could expect to see maybe a few more showers and possibly a few thunderstorms as well over the deserts and over the mountains as well. By 10 o'clock, much calmer, clear, and actually pretty warm, and we're only getting warmer as we head into the next few days. For the basin in Orange County, mid 80s turning to the 90s by Thursday. By Friday, we're still above average, and by Saturday, we're just a little cooler. Then as we take you to the coast, you're going to see temperatures in the upper 70s turning to the 80s and staying in the low 80s by the time we head into your weekend. And finally, getting a look at one more five-day forecast for the Inland Empire and for the valleys. Low 90s turning to mid 90s, and by your Thursday, high pressure continues continues to build and we're expecting to see triple digit heat last not just through your Thursday, but through your Friday and potentially through your weekend as well. Lena and Sylvia back to you right. and temperatures are starting to heat up. We'll have the details coming up. Nice. But you know what? It's always good to eat okay. spicy in hot weather and oh, hot right. as because well. Because why? It helps you perspirate. Right. It brings oh. your temperature Which down. Which cools like, you down. They say drink hot tea, too. Exactly. It brings exactly. Your temperature down. Hot tea. I'm a fan oh. of mint tea mm -hmm. on a hot day, actually. So it really does work. You so guys making this stuff up? No. 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 Right. We're Never. listening to all the reports that we tell everybody. <laughs> exactly. So, so give it a shot. Lot. Give it a right. shot tomorrow. I'll bring you some spicy curry and a glass of mint tea tomorrow afternoon. You'll see if it works, Rick. All right. But for now, we are expecting a pretty warm afternoon and humid conditions as well. That monsoonal moisture may its way into the forecast earlier today. We saw showers and thunderstorms in the mountains and we could potentially do it again tomorrow. Things are much calmer compared to where we were earlier today. There's still a flash flood watch, but it's well to our east in the Mojave Desert there. Other than that, not looking at any watches, warnings or advisories at the moment. Temperatures out there right now in the 60s and 70s, quite mild. 76 in Palmdale, 73 in Downey, PV at 69 in Laguna Beach, 72 degrees right there at the coast. So remember, there is a chance of a thunderstorm, an isolated thunderstorm or a shower over the mountains or the high desert. Best chance there. High pressure rebuilds into Southern California later in the week and with that plenty of sunshine and above average temperatures. We'll show you exactly how warm it's going to get coming up 
in just a minute. But first, I want to show you how warm it got earlier today. 89 degrees. That was the forecast high in downtown. Average is 84, so we were a good 5 degrees or so above average. Record numbers 103. We didn't get anywhere close to that. Over the next 24 hours, 70s, mid 70s and mid 80s under plenty of sunshine by the afternoon. Santa Monica calling it a beach day for you tomorrow. 78 degrees. Palmdale at 90. Riverside at 89. And Woodland Hills, we're getting up to about 93 degrees as we head into tomorrow afternoon. So if you think that's warm, well, we're only getting warmer as we head into the later part of the week. But the good news, we won't see that humidity. The monsoonal moisture is out after tomorrow. It'll be a dry heat, which will feel a little more comfortable for a lot of us. As we head toward the weekend, Friday and Saturday, triple digit heat into our inland spots for the basin in Orange County, mid 90s and then well, low 80s and mid 80s for us tomorrow. So it will get warmer as we head toward the later part of the week, lower 90s by the weekend. And as we head into the coast, let's take you to the beach, upper 70s turning to low 80s as we head toward the weekend. Rick and Sharon, back to you.